Good morning, Fort Hill Presbyterian Church family, along with any others who happen to be joining us on this terrific Tuesday morning. So for today's uh, devotional, I'm a little weighed down because I got a couple of books in my hands because we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at a verse and then we're gonna look at something a selection from Ross Gay's book, The Book of Delights. So to start, the verse that I want to look at is from Jeremiah. It's from the first chapter. It's uh, Jeremiah 1, and it's, and it's just the fifth verse. So hear this word from the book of Jeremiah. It says, Before I created you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I set you apart. I made you a prophet to the nations. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So before I really get into it, I wanted to read this section from, from Ross Gay's book, the, the Book of Delights, which is a book full of different essays that he has written. This one is entitled Nicknames. And this is the section it says, I don't know exactly what nicknames mean, though a quick reading of mine and the abundance of the buh sound that babies the babyest of sounds makes me think it might be primal i know that i rarely call people i love by their names i call them if it is okay with them by the names i have given them i wonder if it means if this means i think of my beloved as my children that seems very patronizing especially because i mostly don't give them money but on the other hand how lovely all my mothers and all my babies. So for today's devotional, I really wanted to focus on something that these two stories have, or these two things have in common, and it's that idea of naming, and it's being named and being called your name. And I don't know about y'all, but growing up, I had a nickname that I went by, and I, it was it was the, the nickname that I had on my church softball jersey and everything, and it was something that I I felt was special because it was a chosen name given to me because it was chosen because people saw qualities in me that they felt associated with the nickname, and I think. That was such an impactful thing for me because it was other people seeing gifts in me that I didn't necessarily see to the point that they believed that the thing that I go by, my name, to be associated with those positive qualities. And I think that there's something so powerful in that and I think there's something so powerful in just being, being named and being called and I know that the story in Jeremiah is referring to the prophet Jeremiah as being the one who is called and named but I think that that's something that happens for all of us God doesn't only call Jeremiah and name Jeremiah, but calls and names each of us. We are each called, we are named by God. And for some of us, we are called and named different things, nicknames by friends and family and loved ones. So that I just today. I just wanted to focus on that, that name. And though I don't know each of you who is watching, I just want you to imagine that, take this devotional as me saying your name, noticing you and calling your name, and I encourage you to do that for others. So for today's devotional, in the comment section down below, I encourage you to if you had a nickname growing up, or you want to tell the story of your own name, I encourage you to do that. 
tell the story of a nickname you had or the story of the, your given name so that we can not only know each other's names and know who else is watching, but we can truly know where those names come from and the, and the importance of them. Will you please pray with me? Dear Creator God, you call us by name. You call us by name before we were ever even born, before we ever stepped foot on the ground, before we ever spoke a word, you called us by name. Lord, we are so thankful for that noticing and that acknowledgement. We just pray that you help us to do the same for others. You help us to notice and see and call those around us, especially those who feel invisible. We just pray all of these things in your wonderful name. Amen.